So, we are going to use the third application of dimension. That is to derive an exact relationship between measured physical world quantities. So now, here is a question. The question says here, the period T of a simple pendulum defined on mass of the valve, length of the thread, and the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity G. This, this, the question says, use the method of dimension to drive an expression for the field of T. So now, solution now. So, this means that here, the field of T, since the word defined, this means that it's proportional to what? To the length, to the mass of M, to the length L, and also what? Gravity G. But we don't know whether all this has power or not. We use them here as power of x, y, and z now, for example. So in order to move this proportionality, we bring on a proportionality equals and co that t equals to k m power x, y power uh, l power y and z and no please, sorry, and g power z now. So now, what we are going to do here is to bring out the SIO dimension of each and every term here in this case. So now, T equals K mass. Remember, the dimension of mass is still mass. Go M, capital M, go power X. Length, normally is capital L, go power Y. Then here we have acceleration due to gravity. So remember that acceleration A is a meter faster square go. If dimension will be, here we have meter for L T minus 2. Times here we have an L T minus 2 to the power of Z. Why? Because T is T here, K is K here. M is M, L is here, then this G, gravity, associated with gravity go, is L T minus 2. Because associated with gravity is nothing as acceleration. They have the same word as I do. So now, remember the law, this is the say that A, B power C equals to what? A power C, B power C. This means that here, in this case, we have to say T here equals to K m power x, l power y, this belongs to this l, and this one belongs to this t. You have l power z, here you have t power 2 times z. Cool. So now, we have this. Cool. Here we have t equals to k m power x. Now, L. We have two L here. Multiple, multiple, multiple. We take only one L. I don't know of this school. We add up the power school. We have L, Y plus Z. We have here T minus 2Z. So, remember from the second episode of dimension. Then to verify the correctness of equation, whatever is in the right hand must be equal to whatever is in the left hand. So this means that here we have something like here m, here we have m, we have n, we have t. This means here in this case that we have m to the power of zero, l power zero. Here we have t. Why? Because here is like one go. Remember, look, this is. Any to the power of zero is equivalent to one. Either we bring m to the power of zero and power of zero is only the same. Why? Because any to the power of zero is equivalent to one. Here is one, one. One times t, same as t. So when we bring this, is when that a to the power of zero equals to one. m power zero equals to one. 
n power root equals to 1. So this means that this side is like n power 0, n power 0, t. Meaning here, what is left hand side will equal to the right hand side. That is why we bring this here. Since our letter here we have m, l, and t. So the first thing for us to put as the power of m, l is 0. Why? Because here it's like 1. And you have m power 0, l power, then power t go. It costs what all this for example k m x l y plus z then we have t minus 2 z so now we trick each tempo now for example here we have m and m so here we have m 0 equals to m power x so m doesn't m here go it means that our x equals to what zero now. Then we take L here and this L. Go. Oh, you see, we have L power zero in this case equals to what? L y plus z. You see? This means that L cancel L here. Go. Oh, we have what? We have zero equals to what? Y plus z. So now we cannot find y unless we find the value of what of z. So then we so we take t and t here again. We have t here equals to what t to the power of minus two z two z please. Remember here is the power of one go. You just cancel out this. I mean what one equals to what minus two z. Where was I by minus two? Minus two. Could this comes out this code? Our z equals to what minus one all over two. Here is our z. Here is our x. So now we use this z to find the value of y. Here we have zero. Here, for example, here we have what zero. Here equals to what y. So what our z? Minus 1 all over 2. You see? This will cross this side. We have y equals what? 1 all over 2. So now, this is what we have to do. Now, then we go back to the main equation, meaning this equation now. So we have the value of x, y, z. Then now we say our t equals to what? We have k m mass the power of x zero you see x is zero then we have l to the power of y what is our y one over two then g to the power of z what is our z minus one over two you see here this become t equals to a k n to the power of 0 is 1, go. We have n, 1 over 2. Then this, d minus 1 over 2. This d can come down here. We have t equals to k. We have l power 1 over 2. This d can come, we follow, a to the power of minus n equals 1 over a to the power of n, go. Here we have all over what? G to the power of 1 over 2. Of this, of this next side. But here, L and G have the same power here. Here we have T is what as here we say K root L over what? To root G go. In the half 1 over 2 go. Like we say, row of this is again root L equals like L power of 1 over 2. So now, here we have root G. So since they have the same root here, can take only one root so t equals to k root l over g. Here is the equation that we were asked to find a relationship for t. Here is our final word, final answer, please.